Hello everybody, I'm so happy to be here again with you for a home recital during Corona times so that you know we can still stay together with music and have an amazing journey together every week. So after calling sick last week, I'm doing much better. And today I will deliver you one of my favorite composers of all time, Franz Liszt, who was the first rock star in music history because there was only classical music back then in his century. He was a writer, he was an arranger, he arranged so many pieces and of course an amazing composer who did a lot for the development of the musical language during his time. So today um, many of you already know that uh, these concerts that I do on live stream are a charity project uh, also artistic, but also charity. So every time I ask you to make a donation, if you can, to uh, one of the, um, the accounts that are listed down below in the description of this video. And um, every time we support a different charity uh, foundation, and today we are supporting the Consonanza Foundation, which is based in Munich. They do an amazing job to bring children to music and to change their lives through music, and it's the equivalent of the Venezuelan El Sistema in Germany. El Sistema that produced thousands of professional musicians throughout the world. So don't, um, don't hesitate to make a donation. And let's start with music now. I want to play, I really want to play now. <laughs> so first piece I'm going to play for you today, it's the Mephisto Waltz number no. one of Franz Liszt. It's one of the most virtuosic pieces ever written for piano. I have a long history with it and I'm just loving it. It's about Faust, based on the Faust of Lena. Enjoy.
voilà, that was the Mephisto Waltz number one of Franz Liszt. And we don't change the subject in tonight's program because we are continuing now with the sonata in B minor, which is, for me, the best piece ever written for piano solo um, and one of the biggest and best masterpieces in music history, for sure. So. Um, I have to say um, the link between a Mephisto, Faust, and, um, and you know, uh, the obsession of Liszt with the character of Faust, it's uh, omnipresent in his work. Uh, like in this uh, sonata in B minor, you can actually find a lot of similarities in the form and the themes even, the, the harmonies as well, of... Um, of his uh, Faust, son uh, Faust symphony, Einer's Faust symphony. Is everything okay with the with the sound? You know, yeah. are we we're still on? No? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I have a crew here uh, that's helping me. My sister is here, and uh, Lawrence as well, and uh, Navid also for the sound. Thank you so much for helping me out. So we are live. So it's um, <laughs> ah, I have to take my breath. You just told me. So yeah. So uh, back to Faust. Uh, Faust, uh, it's. He's a doctor who knows everything about everything, but nothing about love, basically. That was an untrue life. So he made a deal with Mephisto, the devil. And after he made this deal, like just long story short, he met the love of his life. It's very passionate, very romantic, you know, in this epoch of the 19th century, like actually uh, 18th century. Um, there's the uh, Faust of Goethe, the Faust of Lenau, which um, the Mephisto Waltz was inspired by. And yeah, there's this like crazy love story between Faust and Marguerite Gretchen, her name in, in German is. And uh, well, it doesn't really end well because, you know, he made a pact with the, with the devil. So <laughs> what do you expect with that? Um, but so the three, these three characters, the devil, Faust and Marguerite, are um, like three light motifs in this piece in the Liszt uh, sonata in B minor, but also in a lot of other ones of his work. So there's innocence represented by Marguerite. Then uh, there is Faust, the thinker, you know, the professor, like the crazy professor who knows everything. And the devil, like especially this like devilish laughter that you, that you can hear in the music. So yeah, the, this piece, um, I will play for you this piece. It's a 30 minutes, one movement sonata. It goes through every life experience. And um, yeah, I just love it so much. So enjoy the music. <laughs>
always a very special sensation to play at home because I know this piano so well, I know this piece so well, but every time when I know that I'm playing for someone, you know, for you, the audience, it's still different. So like it's in my own universe, but at the same time, something that's totally different from when I'm practicing. And it's always a thrill to do that, to play in concerts, to perform, it's so amazing. So, my dear friends, that was the sonata in B minor of Franz Liszt. And today we only have a one final piece that I composed that I'm going to play for you. But before that, I wanted to remind you that um, these concerts are weekly live streamed on my YouTube channel. And uh, um, it's a coronavirus confinement project because, as you know, all my concerts and those of my colleagues are being canceled or postponed until the end of summer. So these concerts will go on as long as, you know, the cancellations, the postponed concerts go on. That's one thing. And also this is a charity project. So don't hesitate to make a donation. Every information you need for that is down below in the description. And today we are supporting the Consonanza Foundation in Munich who supports children in their um, cultural and musical development. Uh, this being said, two words about the last piece I'm going to play today. It's um, not the first time that I'm playing it, uh, but uh, it's kind of still a new piece. I'm still doing some arrangements here and there every, you know, every two, three months. Uh, like the, the very final version is not set yet. Um, so now I'm playing for you basically the second version that I made of this um, by Shades of Paganini, a fancy name for something quite classical that is uh, variations on the very famous theme of the 24th Caprice by Niccolo Paganini. So I wanted to experience in this variation uh, a way to write music that's deeply, you know, traditional, classical, but at the same time goes very far in uh, the um, exploration of piano technique and also of different sounds and special harmonies that I try to to explore once more, you know. So enjoy. Thank you so much.
Thank you, thank you so much for staying with me until the end. The end of this concert, it's always a pleasure to share some music with you, even when you're forced to stay at home. So next concert, next Thursday, same time at 8 p.m. Berlin time, uh, this time with a Chopin program. I will play the second and third sonatas of the great composer. So again, big pieces as I like them, you know, uh, two masterpieces of classical music history. So stay tuned on the same channel, tune in for next week. And next week we are supporting a Geneva Foundation for Education. It's called Help Education, a big foundation, very good. They do an amazing job in Geneva. So yeah, stay safe everybody and see you next week. Ciao, ciao.